What's going on guys? It's your boy Scrubby here back again with another video. Hope you guys are having a great day I know I am and uh, if you are be sure to press the like button otherwise no joke no scam You will be tied to a desk chair and shoved down the stairs by an angry elf and or leprechaun Depending on where you live, you know in Europe It tends to be more leprechauns elves are more of a North American thing. They switched in the 80s It was very confusing Real talk though, I would press the like button because trust me, you don't want anyone very angry and small breaking into your house and throwing you down the stairs. I've had it happen quite a few times now and it's very hard to explain at the hospital. Anyways, what's going on guys? It's your boy Scrub here back to again. Oh my gosh, wow, it's been a little bit since I've recorded with back-to-back -back videos. Uploaded yesterday, back again today. Schedule's getting more consistent. And today I just have a funny story about this dude I saw freak out one time at work. You know how it is out there. Sometimes people just low-key lose their mind it wasn't even like he freaked out on me at work he just freaked out while I was working and I happened to see it regardless it was a very entertaining freak out that revolved around the fact that like some little kid farted in his presence and you know that's just a funny thing to freak out about so that's the story we're gonna be doing today so press the like button and without further ado let's get into it me and my team gonna make it we gonna make it Kevin, yeah she throw it back cause I say so no she only let me cause I got the pesos yeah 21 and it's a hell of a time I so, uh, working in a grocery store basically means that you have no control over who you interact with on a daily basis. There's not, like, a certain clientele for a grocery store, you know? It's not like working at the North Face where only pretentious hipsters walk in or, like, another store where there's a very obvious group of people who shop there. A grocery store is a grocery store, so all types of people who come in. And one thing that is always interesting is to see groups of people who, like, never ever interact have to interact. Like, a dude wearing spandex because he just went on a bike ride at 6 in the morning and wants everyone to know that he owns spandex. Buying donuts at the same time as, like, a biker who looks like he eats seven children for breakfast on a light morning, you know? Like, it's just funny. But sometimes people get together and uh, they don't think it's too funny and they like low-key freak out. And this story is honestly one of those situations. Shockingly, kids get brought to grocery stores. I'm pretty sure every kid remembers the pain of getting dragged to the grocery store with their mom and like having to sit in the cart or even worse, walk behind the cart for hours as your mom just like takes forever to shop. It's not fun. And so whenever I would see kids in the grocery store, I would have sympathy for them. You know, I would be like, dang, I, I really do feel bad that you are getting dragged out here dude that really sucks being a kid and being in here would blow but some people for whatever reason forget that they were a kid too like i swear some people oh i hate kids wow that's crazy uh if you hate kids i'm just saying that's kind of whack because we were all kids like saying you hate kids is basically like being like oh i low-key hate parts of myself that's basically what you're saying I'm not saying every kid is great. There are some kids that definitely deserve a smack in the face or two. That's just the reality of it. But, like, if you just hate every kid, you're just a jerk. But because there were always kids in the grocery store, sometimes these people who hate kids and just, you know, want to be angry at the world would come in and their interactions would get a little bit out of control. And uh, one of these weeks where I was working at the grocery store, I was put in the produce department to help out because they needed more people. Like, it was a situation where uh, one of the produce guys had called out, and I was just somebody that they thought would be good in that department, so they had put me in the produce department. So I was basically in charge of, like, stocking bananas and plums, all that good stuff, all the super swag-tastic fun stuff you do working at a grocery store. Anyways, this like three-year-old girl comes in with her mom and her mom is obviously looking a little bit exhausted And she's like kind of running around and being a little bit out of control. I'm not gonna lie, you know, but whatever She was a cute kid, but there was this grumpy dude who had come in and like just had this personality of a big stinky like fart You know, you know those dudes in the movies that just have the personality of just like a wet blanket and you want nothing more than them to just leave the screen like you just don't want to look at them any more than you have to that was the way i would describe this dude's energy like from the second he walked into the store he was like that one dude from spongebob that hid the pickles under his tongue like you just ugh, bubble bass yeah you were just not vibing. Also, this gameplay is absolutely horrible. I know I'm the worst uh, Minecraft player ever, but whatever, who cares? Anyways, this like little kid, for whatever reason, had gone in the in the realm of this like angry guy, and the angry guy immediately snapped at this mom like, "Watch your child! I'm not a babysitter." 
And, like, it wasn't even as if the kid had walked up to the old man and been like, hey, will you watch me because my mom can't. She had just, like, walked in the near vicinity of him. So the mom, you know, is surprisingly super nice and is like, oh, I'm so sorry. She, I, she got away from me. Here, come back to the cart. Whatever. So she comes back to the cart, but the kid is, like, giving this man the stink eye because he just yelled at her. And kids don't like people who yell at them, especially when they're strangers, you know? That's just not the vibe. Nine times out of ten for young kids. They don't really like getting yelled at. But, uh, whatever. So the mom was, like, surprisingly chill and, and nice about it. And, uh, the, the guy is like, eh, whatever, and keeps picking out his lettuce or whatever he's doing in the produce area. And, uh, he goes to walk by the mom and the kid, and as he goes to walk by the mom and the kid, this grown man does arguably the most immature thing that I've ever seen in my entire life, and, like, sticks his tongue out at this little kid, right? Sticks his tongue out at the little kid. And uh, the little girl responds by, like, lifting her leg and farting in the general direction of the old man. For those of you who have seen Monty Python, it was very similar to, like, the French dudes. You know, I fart in your general direction. She doesn't, like, fart on him. She just farts in his general vicinity, like, aiming it in that general area, you know? And I'm telling you, dude, you would have thought that this girl, like, just pulled out the Glock and threatened him with it. He, like, recoils and throws his shoulder back as if he's trying to dodge a dodgeball and is like, Oh! Oh my goodness, that's disgusting! You know, just with that, like, incredulous old people spirit that they have inside of them, just buried inside of them. Like, all 60 years of bullcrap they've endured. Every time their boss was mean to them and they couldn't say anything back, like... It just comes out when they're retired, you know, so, oh, that's disgusting, and the girl just starts cracking up laughing, and so she starts laughing, and the mom's like, what happened, and the old man is like, your little brat just farted on me, and the little girl is laughing, and the mom's like, oh, that's, I'm so sorry, and he's like, oh, freaking out, and so, I am, like, the nearest worker to the situation, so he's kind of looking around for somebody, but the only problem is I'm a normal human being who has a soul and a heart and looks at things for what they are, and the fact that this guy just got farted on is kind of funny, so I'm laughing. So, as he's turning and looking to find somebody to, like, complain to about it, he turns, and the first worker that he sees is me hysterically laughing at the situation because karma is hilarious, and this dude just got the tutti fruity booty. And so now all of his, like, pent-up anger is directed at me. He walks over, he's like, Do you think it's funny that she just farted on a customer? And I'm like, I'm sorry, it's not funny. Like, I'm just uncomfortable, and I laugh when I'm uncomfortable, which is true. That's a horrible thing, but I actually do that. Whenever I get, like, bad news or I'm uncomfortable, I just start laughing, you know? Someone would be like, Ah, oh, you know... Everything was going great till I got AIDS, and I'd be like, oh, that's not funny, but wow, that's funny. Like, it's it's not funny. It's just my reaction to being uncomfortable. So I'm, like, telling him that, even though it was just funny that he got farted on, and he's like, well, now you have to go restock all that fruit. And I'm like, what? And he says, yeah, if anyone farts within 100 feet of produce, you have to restock it. And I'm like, dog, that's just not true, because... Could you imagine if that was true? You would never be able to have a produce section in a store. Because I'm not trying to say that, like, I know for a fact people would fart pretty often, but I feel like people would, would rip booty at least once a day within 100 feet of produce, considering the produce section is, like, half the store. That's definitely not true. So I'm like, yeah, that's just not true. So he starts pressing me. He's like saying subsection 4 paragraph C of blah 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 code says that you have to restock fruit if any foreign sub blah 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 like all this stuff just starts going off on me and I don't know what he's talking about because A, I don't care and B, I don't even work in the produce section most of the time like I'm a temporary worker here so uh, my boss from the back hears it and like comes out and sees what's going on and he sees me just like smiling because I'm still laughing and smiling at it because I can't help it and this guy is going off on me about how I have to restock all the fruit. And so the guy comes over, and the produce manager was a very cool dude because he didn't really have to answer to anybody. Like, he could do his own thing, and he basically is like, what's going on? And the guy tells him that this girl farted, and so we have to get rid of all of the fruit within, like, 100 feet and restock it. And I should be fired because I laughed at it, and... My boss is like, why did you laugh at it? And I'm kind of like, oh, I'm uncomfortable. And it was funny, you know? And uh, the guy is like, that's highly inappropriate. It's not funny to laugh at the distress of your customers. 
And I'm sorry, dude, your distress was caused by you. That's how karma works, all right? If you go out there and say, like, keep your kid away from me, and then the kid happens to fart when you walk by, and you freak out and start screaming at a child for doing something that all humans do, like, I don't know what to tell you, dude. That's kind of on you. You look crazy, not me. And so, uh, he's kind of like, well, you have to restock all fruit and start citing off that law stuff again. And, uh, the manager of the produce section is basically like, look, I will give you the produce you have in your bag for free, but I'm not restocking anything and I'm not going to fire anybody. Take it or leave it. And he's like, I'll go shop elsewhere. You have to restock it. It's the law. I'll be calling the Better Business Bureau, yada, yada, yada. I'm calling corporate. Give me your names. Like starts doing all this stuff. It was basically a male Karen. And, uh, you know, we ended up giving him all that information. He stormed out of there like, I will never be shopping here again. You lost a loyal customer. And, uh, yeah, honestly, it was the first time I've ever seen him. So if he is pretty loyal, then, like, he must just shop at weird hours because I, I feel like I never saw him. But, uh, yeah, man, karma has a way of hitting you, dude. If, if you say mean things, you get farted on. That's just the universe's way of working things out, you know? Uh, honestly, I hadn't seen a male Karen in a while, and... For some reason, male Karens are a lot funnier to me. Like, I'm just not as afraid of them. I think it's because, like, it's a lot harder for a grown man for some reason to, like, I don't know, try to spin things and make him the victim. But I feel like Karens have learned it, dude. They've been molded by it, you know? They've been like, oh my god, can you believe what he just did? He's laughing at me getting farted on. But it just sounds ridiculous when, like, a, a ginormous dude who looks like Bubble Bass from Spongebob is freaking out at the fact that they're, like, some kid tooted. Anyways, guys, that's going to do it for the video. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to press the like button. Let me know in the comment section down below what you thought. Be sure to check out the merch if you haven't already. Uh, cop yourself some. Videos are going to be back, like I said, back to back. Look at me. I'm actually on a streak again. And uh, yeah, don't get anyone pregnant. If you do, make sure they're hot. The intro song will be in the description down below. And uh, if you're new and want to turn on those notifications and you turn them on, be sure to let me know and send a screenshot to my Instagram at Scrubby because I shout somebody out every day. Today's notification shout out goes to Kennedy Boyce. Big thank you for having on notifications. I really appreciate it. And uh, yeah, on that note, guys, don't get anyone pregnant. If you do, make sure they're hot. And hopefully I'll see you guys next time with another video. I'm out. Peace.